you could imagine. Never happened to us, knock on wood. What are we doing, bud? We're going to the hot tub. Hot, hot tub. Ah, I'll get in the sauna. We're going to get in the hot tub in the sauna. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Where are we, Shane? At the facility. We're just discussing the $90,000 we just spent. <laughs> well, to be exact, $90,500. Okay, you want me to? Here we go. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little slash and then I'm gonna. Okay, good luck. <laughs> and that's without the extra concrete or any structures we're putting on it, like the pergola and the. Mm -hmm. But anyway, all that'll come later. But we're, we're sitting here looking, you know, we've looked around and. You know, Corpus Christi was at Gulf Waters. People bought them for 80 and then now they're worth 150 So they can go up. Yeah, so we feel like it has room to in increase. Yeah, this because this, they're still building this park. And it's like a house, I don't know, unless you blow your budget. But, you know, if you buy land and build a house, it's worth more than you spent. You unless you've blown your budget with some stupid purchases. I just gotta have it just like this or something, you know, and changing the plans and all that. You end up with more equity when it's finished. Well, it's the same here, I'm pretty sure. And if not, it's even a bargain just to have this nice of an RV park for this price, period. But we're liking it. Um, it, it is a flood zone here. There's three creeks, that's why it's called Crossing Creeks. Cause there's three creeks that kind of merge right here. But when it, it did flood in October of 2020, there was a, they found a huge beaver dam up, upstream that no one caught. So it, it flooded the front and all those fancy people that live on the creek. We live on the creek. Yeah, your ass got flooded too, didn't you? No, I'm not being mean, but yeah, in the front and whatever. So I put it on my, drv owners group even and i've had some people oh you better watch out it floods there watch it when it rains <laughs> you know it it can flood here but it's kind of scary we went to our neighbor this is going to be right where you probably will see I, I went up on his deck he let me go up on his deck and uh he said the even on that bad bad flood the water barely made it into his driveway or RV and we're gonna be right behind him and we're right behind him so mm -hmm. but yeah towards the front it's the lower land here and that's where the creek is <laughs> I mean so if it, if it floods it floods that's where you're gonna get flooded it did flood the office the the front of the office right near the front and it just went up they said it was here hours and then receded within four hours yeah and so it's, the drainage is probably pretty good they had up the drainage when they took over as a new company here and they upped the drainage um and but i mean it was a bad flood and for it to proceed in four hours and this really the drainage worked pretty good mm -hmm. but they were going to watch the creek uh, the the wildlife whatever is going to watch the creek a lot closer now after that happened but anyway the only ones that flooded were towards the front and the one other area where the i think it's in the back of the park where it's real low ground and, and near the creek. So I'm really not concerned. And it's fresh water. I'm from the coast. We get hit by hurricanes. Well, when tidal surges come in, it's freaking salt water. Brine, you know, it's just that, oh man, it ruins stuff. But this is fresh water. It comes in, you go out, it dries, and you sweep up and keep rolling. Not a big deal. Well, I hope it doesn't flood though. No, I don't think it will. But even if it does, it's an RV park. Not a big deal. It's not like a full structure. But but we were sitting here talking about because you know we left the trailer park we were just in 
in Indiana, and we were just discussing discussing the difference between an RV park and a trailer yeah. park. We liked it there. It was a huge parking pad, as you remember. But we're just, there's a different mentality, okay? You see someone on a bike. Are they riding a bike because it's their only transportation? Or are they riding a bike because they want to? Well, if someone's riding a bike because they want to, you probably see a smile on their face, right? And they're, yay, it's fun. They're doing it for fun. And if they're riding a bike because they have to, they've probably got a grin on their face trying to make it back from work or whatever else. Different than have to and want to. Well, we just, we're finding and being reminded, being in an RV park, people are here because they want to be. And when you're there because you want to be, you're in a better mood. <laughs> and your daily interactions with your neighbors and people around you is going to be different. Generally, generally more positive. Now, you get your anal people anywhere, especially because we're, we're dealing with the older population. We're getting older, too, so I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying something. You get some cranky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, for the most part, everyone's festive, and they're living this lifestyle because they're usually pretty cool. I think that's what I found. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we went ahead and bit the bullet and bought this bought this thing. Yeah, so. I don't think you can find much better. It's beautiful. What are we doing now? It's, it's winter here, and we we snuck from the gym, or we're the sauna. We're heating up the sauna, so we got our bathing suits on. We ran to the hot tub. Now we gotta hop out, dry off enough, and run back in there and get in the sauna before we get too cold. So mm -hmm. it's a game. But we, it is out of season here. But we're the only ones here. There's nobody. It is nine o'clock, almost ten o'clock. I guess <laughs> it says it closes at dawn. I know what you're gonna do. We're bad, but uh, we figure you know we're not causing a ruckus. We're not out here drinking and hooting and hollering. And they're they're leaving this heated 24/7. Shouldn't let it go to waste. Mm -mm. You ready to make the mad dash back inside? That's just you. You want to be in the pool for like five minutes and then you're like, okay, we're done. We had to. We, Same thing at the beach. We drive like an hour beach to, get is boring. to the beach and he gets there five I like minutes. the mountain. But you get to the beach, sit at the beach, 30 minutes on one side, flip over, 30 minutes on the other. Okay, now done. Let's go. <laughs> what? What's it? What? Unless you're surfing. But not girls. Y'all just sit there. I'm at the beach. It's just. <laughs> good to be it's nice i'll read a book they even said and i'm not even getting sun they'll sit under the canopy thing what is oh, it yeah. umbrella and read a book with a hat on mm -hmm. being because you're at the beach. listening to the water we can hear the frogs in the background here it's a little bit different but it's relaxing much the same you do hear the frogs. Most people think it's crickets. It sounds like frogs. But a lot of times it's frogs. You think it's crickets, but it's frogs. All right. I think that thing's heated up. You gotta dry off first. You gotta turn off that thing before you drop it. These things are waterproof, woman. You didn't know? That's a GoPro. Well, that thing's so hot, I'm, I'm out. I'm out, I'm not even cold yet. This ain't no big deal, it kind of feels good. Mm. All right, wind's blowing, it's a little cold. A little cold with the wind blowing, I'm not gonna lie. And my feet are getting cold, so it's a little cold. All right, now I'm getting a little chilly. Yeah, the wind and the cold feet. Ooh, the wind, ah. No, no, no. Beautiful morning. Our rig is getting dirty from the road. Look how dirty from winter and road, winter road. Wow. Find a truck wash. Sprinkled it down, but it needs more than that.
all this is going to be redone they just still build my rv lot bringing all these huge trucks through here so they're going to redo it after that this is a pretty spot this was phase one but we're going to get on the road today and get some uh get the middle georgia see her mother that's in the She's in a nursing home there, so. so. They got a cute shed, right? This, they put, this is all their land right here. And it's on the business side. So we're having our pad all the way where there's hardly anything on this right side except for us to walk around. So I'm gonna have a bigger pad so I can walk around. But, but this is kind of wasted space on your service side, you know? They do it right though, everything's central. Here's your water. Your sewer away from your water. Your power up here, so your freaking surge protector isn't down in the grass. Getting mowed. And this right here. This is the modem. This is the modem that uh, they had. So we plugged in this ethernet cable, ran it straight into my into the toy box, into the router. Done. High speed internet. It's fiber here, but it's capped. But uh, but they told me I can buy more speed and i will so that's cool so it was easy to go ahead and set we were here three days so i did set up my we needed to dump anyway like soon after so i went ahead and set it up but you see when it's in the center it's not so one side or the other it's in the center you never get too long of a run you know my bike bike like it would be there and it wouldn't be too bad but if it's on that end, like you'd have a super short run and then you'd have like three hoses connected just to get back there. And I've had that happen when they put on one end or another. So this is preferable for sure. We were worried about these landing gears. Yeah, it's scraping on that back left a little bit. Hardly any scrape at all. Bill to Julie. This is a staging area most RVs have, most RV parts have. Most RVs have a staging area, Shane? <laughs> yeah, this is a staging area. So when you pull in, you stop here. Like if you're a class A, you'll, you'll stop here, get your Jeep off before you go park. Or if you're like us, you're a toy hauler and you got, got your cart to put in or get out. So when we came in, we pulled in here, you park, you check in, you get out your golf cart, then you go and park. Well, adversely, we're leaving. You pull in here, you load up your golf cart, button up, and hit the road out of here. Check out. So that's the way that works. Guard house to Welcome Center, UPS truck is here. So you 
know we use the walkie-talkies, right? A lot. Walkie-talkies. But we're coming up on Atlanta. So when you're going to be going through a city or whatever else, you need to go ahead and swap the cell phone. Okay. That way, on demand, insulin. Oh, get over, block for me. All that smoke in the band of crap we do. <laughs> we thought these were only in Indiana, but we're here in North Georgia, somewhere around Ella J. And here they are, Culver's. I'm gonna get Shane something to eat. 